Okay, I've got 80 grams of oatmeal, which I put through the blender. I whizzed to, get, to make it fine. I have beaten up some walnuts and almonds because I ran out of walnuts. So I added enough almonds to make um, a, a hundred grams here. So there's a hundred grams of walnuts mixed with some almonds, roasted almonds, and 80 grams of oatmeal flour. And I'm going to add 15 grams of cocoa. Just about one and a half teaspoons of cocoa. And then into that two tablespoons of honey. And then mix it all in. So once you've mixed the ingredients together, shape them, put them on a tray, cover them and put them in the fridge till you're ready to coat them in chocolate. Okay, so here I've got, I've doubled the mixture. So I've got 340 grams of um, dates, which I soaked in hot water for 10 minutes. And I'm going to add four tablespoons of peanut butter. of the mix into the oats. Pretty sticky.
place the date mix between two sheets of baking paper and spread it out. Try and spread it out evenly and spread it out enough to fit in the dish that you're going to put your um, Snickers bars in. Okay, here I sprayed my dish with a bit of canola oil and I began trying to get the first layer as evenly as possible into the dish. And then you put the second layer in, which is the 40% date mix that you had left over originally. So try and spread that out also as evenly as possible. Okay, so here I covered it up with a bit of cling wrap because my husband thought it was a good idea for him to eat my peanuts, my next layer. So I had to shoot down the shops and get me some, another packet of peanuts. Okay, got my peanuts layered the peanuts on top of the date mix and um, once I did that I placed it into the fridge to set a little before I cut it up. So I put them in the fridge, put it in the fridge probably for about 30 minutes, um, slid it out of the dish and then I began trying to cut them evenly so I can cover them in chocolate. So I ended up, I cut them into like little squares and set them aside um, while I melted the chocolate. So in, in the chocolate I used a no sugar chocolate um, and I added a probably about a tablespoon, two tablespoons of coconut oil to it. Put in the microwave 30, minute, uh, 30 second increments um, until it was all melted. So I think I did it about two times and that was enough for it all to be melted. I covered the date balls with chocolate first and I just made sure that they were completely covered in chocolate and then I added a few crushed peanuts on top of each one. Now once I did that I covered them up again and put them into the fridge to set. Next was the Snickers bars, so um, I basically did the same as what I did with the balls, the walnut and oat balls. Just made sure that it was all completely covered with chocolate around the sides. Yes, yeah, so I put them in the fridge to set again, and here they are there. This is the Snickers bar. As you can see, the oat layer, then the dates, then the peanuts, and then the chocolate all around. This is the walnut and oat balls. Um, I have to say that they were very nice, very tasty. I loved them, and so did my cousins. Thank you so much for watching my video hope you enjoyed it um, yeah and like and subscribe thank you